everyone, Diane here. Welcome to my studio. Today I'm going to be showing you um, a couple of uh, brushes and how I might use them to make a Christmas card this year. And um, this is what I'm going to show you how to do, which is kind of nativity scene, um, you know, little house in the, you know, you, you know what it is, don't you? So I'll put that there for the minute. Um, and here's the brushes in their set in their nice box, which we're going to open up. And today I'm going to paint that scene using, believe it or not, this brush, which is a one inch flat. And one of my um, most inspiring teachers who I was lucky enough to attend courses with as well was Ron Ranson. And he had um, only ever used three brushes in his armory, really which was this one, which was a rigger, a large, long-haired, thin brush, and a one-inch uh, brush. And as well as that, of course, he used the hake, which was this kind of thing, a very, you know, uh, a goat's hair brush, actually, a Chinese goat's hair brush. But we are not going to do that today, but today we are going to use the two of the other ones that he used, a one-inch flat and a rigger. So... That's where we're going to start. Okay, so to have a go at doing this, this is a really simple little thing and I think you'd probably enjoy it. Um, I'm just going to pick up some, this is number 68 in the Kuretake set, which is uh, blue-gray deep or something like it. So indigo or a little bit of um, ultramarine with a touch of black in it would do. And, and I'm just mixing up a little bit there, just not going to make a big fuss about that. And then I'm going to take my large brush and paint basically an irregular square in the middle of this piece of, um, it's five by uh, seven by 10 uh, Meaden um, hot, uh, cold press. But any paper will do. And you can either make it very rough around the edges, like my uh, model was, this one here. Or you can mask it out with some uh, washi tape or masking tape, or, or you can just, you know, make a nice, whatever you feel like, whatever the mood strikes you on this particular day. And however, however your hand shakes or doesn't shake, just don't play with it too much though, and just leave that to dry. Now, you might want to um, just draw very simply your design onto here, or you might decide to go in, you know, um, uh, what's the word, sort of boldly go where no man has gone before. And But anyway, I'm just going to basically just put a dotted line to indicate the little um, manger building and then just some dotted lines. This way, you don't have to worry too much about having to rub them out. So. And I know that they didn't have Christmas, well, maybe they did have Christmas trees in those days. I don't know. Anyway, and up here we have the star, which is going to be a four-pointed star, that traditional style like that, which we're gonna paint in gold. We'll come to that in a minute. Um, I've got my um, PH Martins bleed proof white here, which is going to be my snow. Uh, and over here, I've got my Fine Tech, um, very messy looking set of golds and uh, silver, which we can use as well. And I've just wet that, so that's just softening up a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my dark blue and just pick up a little bit of that and then. I'm going to use that just to paint the sides of the, the stable, just like that. Done. No need to play around and do anything more complicated than that. And then I'll move that out of the way. Go back to my gold. Uh, no, sorry, white next. Well, actually, no, I'll do the trees first. So we'll pick up some gold on this brush. Make it quite thick. I, I should have worked this in earlier. I should have played around with it and given it a good stroke. 
to make it soften up a bit because it's been a few days since the last time I used the gold. And because I haven't used it for a while, I probably ought to test it. So I just test it on the back of this piece of paper. Yeah, that's probably a bit thin still. So we just keep going a bit. Um, this brush is very, very versatile and can be used for doing lovely loose skies, loose trees, um, you know, the foliage on trees and everything and, and the ground, obviously grassy banks and mountains, does a very good mountain. There's many, many, many things you can do with this brush. And what I'm showing you today is really embarrassingly simple, but just to kind of just get it started. Whoops, it's got a hair coming out. You might find that with new brushes, any new brush. So we'll just dab in like this. It's harder to describe than it is to do. So we just make the trees by doing sideways lines like that. Just two triangles, ta-da. And up here, we will use the corner of the brush to paint the star. And if you feel that that's not dark enough, and it's if it isn't, it's because I haven't mixed the paint up thickly enough, you can wait for it to dry and then come in and, and give it another coat. Or you could use a gold pen which for a small thing like that is probably quite, quite a good idea. And now we're going to do the, um, the white part. So I've got my PH Martins paint here and I'm just gonna literally dip my brush into that because it's all soft. And then I'm going to paint just the snowy roof, just like that and keep it erratic and you know, any old how. And we'll just let that dry. Obviously you can use any brush to do this. You don't need to, you don't need to use these big brushes, but this is just to show you that you can pretty much paint anything with any brush. Now I'm just going to draw in the cradle for the baby and then a kind of sitting down shape and a kind of standing up. These are just two triangles, right? And then we're gonna keep it really simple. And then I'm going to paint using the rigger. I'm going to paint the background in here in a sort of light gold. So we just go around those shapes. It doesn't matter if you get a bit of running because we're not doing this um, as if it was something on a computer, are we? We want a bit of personality in it. So the next thing is now to paint the figures, which are very tiny. And so a small brush like this is probably quite a good idea. And I'm going to do them in blue as well, I think. And so we'll just drop in some shadowy color because they don't need to be anything very definite. So we've got Joseph and I'm going to take a, a pen, I think if I can find a black pen to do his uh, shepherd's crook because you can't possibly paint that. And then to do a manger, do that with a pen as well. And then Mary, just sharpen her up a little bit here. And really, we're not going to do anything other than that. I should think they would be very well wrapped up in the winter in that part of the world. And then just a little bit of 
a shadow under the trees like that. Maybe I'll make her just a tiny bit darker and a little bit of dark in the manger like that. And then finally some snow. So we just pick up some white mixed with some water and use the rigger to spatter the snow all over your painting. So there we are. And that, when that's dry, we can cut that out into a square shape like this and mount it on a card. However you feel inclined to do, but make a little decorative thing for somewhere in a corner in the house. So there we are, that's the flat and the rigger demonstrated. And uh, probably in the next few days also, I'll be doing another painting of a more sort of traditional landscape using this one and this one for the branches and for the leaves of the tree. So I'll let you go now for now, and I'll see you over on the Craftimo website, hopefully, from the 14th when the brushes become available and you'll be able to get some for yourself. So I'll let you go and I'll see you again soon. So bye everybody. Bye bye for now and uh, happy Christmas. <laughs>